You never guess it from watching TV coverage of Mel Gibson and Gwyneth Paltrow's uh, messy divorces. But in the real world, marriage is actually thriving among the powerful and the privileged. We've seen drops in, in divorce, for instance, among college-educated Americans since 1980. But the real problem here is that in working class and poor communities across the United States, marriage is in retreat. Why does marriage matter? Well, marriage matters particularly for our kids because they're more likely to flourish, to go to college, to avoid uh, prison, actually, for boys, and to avoid a teen pregnancy for girls when they're raised by their own intact married parents. Too many of our public policies unintentionally penalize marriage. That's got to end. And more concretely, there are three things I think we can do to strengthen family life in the United States. The first thing is to end the marriage penalties embedded in many of our tax and transfer policies, like Medicaid, for instance. Number two, strengthening the educational and economic foundations of working class and poor families by doing a better job with vocational education, um, and apprenticeship training. And the third thing that we need to do is to have a kind of public health campaign, uh, like we had with smoking, around what's called the success sequence. And basically the idea here is to communicate to young adults that getting your education, getting a job, getting married, and then having kids in that order dramatically increases your odds of moving into the middle class and also of avoiding poverty. These three things would do a lot to strengthen marriage in America.